covers two chapters as well. And these are chapters on ratio and percentage. Okay, so we'll begin with chapter 3, which is ratios. So chapter 3, lesson 1, is ratio and fractions. Okay, so which means when we were introduced ratio in grade 5, recall that a ratio is symbolized as a colon. So if it says the ratio of A is to B, then that means we write it as that. But we can also actually write that now as A is to B. So that's why they can make it as a fraction. So in grade 5, ratios were always written this way. But now that we're in grade 6, we will see that ratios can actually be written as a fraction. Which means we should know that if it's a fraction, it must be in its simplest form. So, and we dealt with that when we were in grade 5. We, we mentioned that ratios must always be in its reduced form. Okay, so we'll start with the lesson uh, from exercises on page 40, uh, 74. Okay, so there's uh, page 74 and 76 are the exercises. Okay, so 74 says, Ryan cuts a piece of rope into, okay, Ryan cuts a piece of rope into two pieces. Okay, the length of the first piece is 5 eighth the length of the second piece. Okay, so in this case, they gave a drawing. Okay, so this is number three. So this is the first piece, and this is the second piece. Okay, so it says the first piece is 5 eighth of the length of the second piece. So that means this will be 5, while second is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the second has eight. Okay. Then there's a series of questions. And the first one says the ratio of the length of the second piece to the length of the first piece. So second piece to first piece is, this is eight, is to five. So that means this is 8 is to 5. Okay, in letter B, it says the total length of the rope. So that means the rope in terms of units is equal to the 5 plus the 8, which means it's equal to 13 units. Okay, and in letter C, it says the ratio of the length of the second piece to the length of the rope. So second piece to the total length of the rope. So I'll just call it T, okay, for total. Okay, so second piece would be 8 is to 13. Okay, and finally in letter D, it says the length of the second piece is blank of the total length of the rope. So which means if it says Blank of, that means we're looking for a fraction. So the second piece is 8 thirteenth of the total length. So basically, they're making you put that into fraction form. Continuing on to page 76, we will look at problem number 4. So it says, 3 fourth of the mass of parcel A is equal to two-fifth of the mass of parcel B. Okay, so there's parcel A and parcel B. Now, this is uh, quite difficult to understand the way that they drew, but uh, we'll try to draw it also as best as we can. So this is three-fourth of this is equal to two-fifth of the other parcel. So this up to here, okay, up to here is equal to 2, so that's 2. 2 fifth, so that means this is 1, 2, 3. 
So again, the 3 fourth is equal to the 2 fifth of the parcel. Okay, then it says um, parcel A is 7 eighth kilogram lighter than parcel B. Okay, so which means this right here is 7 eighth. This is 7 eighth kilograms. Okay, then it says the total mass, find the total mass of the two parcels. And it says to leave it as a mixed number. So that's what we're looking for. Okay, so which means if we look at this, um, what we want to do is to make sure that the numerators of the two, three fourth, sorry, the three fourth and the two fifth are the same. So why do we want the numerator to be the same? Because what we want to do is to make sure that they have the same divisions. Okay, so which means to make the two, the three and the two the same, we need to make it so that they're six. So we need to think of common multiples. So that means what we're going to do is we're going to make this so that there's six divisions here. So if there's six divisions, and that means that's like that. That's six. Okay, which means if I continue, that's also another two. Okay, which means this has to have six divisions. So if this has to have six divisions, each one should be divided into three. Okay, so which means if it, each one is divided into three, see now there's six and then there's six divisions as well. Okay, so which means what happens is this seven eighth is technically equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. So there's the seven units. So this to here is seven divisions. Okay, so which means for that to happen, what will happen now is seven units is equal to seven eighth. Okay, so again, this is aligned, this is aligned, these are all the same. So they'll end up to be equal if you make the numerators the same. Okay, so proceeding, that means one unit is equal to 7 eighth divided by 7. Okay, and when we multiply by the reciprocal, we should get that this is 1 eighth. So each of these units is 1 eighth. Okay, but the question is how much is the total of both. So if you'll notice, this has eight units and this has um, three, six, nine, 12, 15. So eight plus 15 units gives us 23 units altogether. So if there's 23 units altogether and each one has a value of one eighth kilogram, that means 23 units is equal to 23 times 1 eighth. So that's 23 over 8. Now, clearly the instruction says to express the answer as a mixed number. So this as a mixed number is 2 and 7 over 8. So if we are again having a difficult time we have to make sure to draw the bar models from scratch don't draw it from their drawing because it's really difficult to see so you start without the divisions first and then you gotta divide it so that they have the same number of divisions so for the three to become a six we need to divide by two per box for the Two, to become a six, we need to divide each box by three. Again, the lessons are getting a little bit more challenging as we go by. So please do not proceed to the next lesson unless you've solved uh, quite a bit of the lessons that we have just learned. So that concludes the lesson for chapter three, lesson one. I'll see you in the next lesson.